Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Saturday. Let's make some people happy on this list right here with some big hits. 8 11 18 on a Saturday, break eight. Second half of that master case we popped open the other day. Jarrett K, last spot mojo bills. And there's everyone else. Good luck to him. Good luck to everyone. Got some new folks in here, too. Hi, new folks. New boys and girls. Thanks for joining the breaks. Good luck. Hopefully, we can make you winners tonight. Now, if you remember from yesterday, and I can show you on my face camera right here, we, had, we marked those inners L and R. So we did R yesterday. We're doing L today. R was... R was okay. <laughs> let's just say we... Uh, let's just say... Should not take much for L to be better. Hey, it happens. What are you going to do? I, I wish these cases were always great. I wish everyone could hit. It doesn't always work out that way, but hey. These cards wouldn't be as much if every single box had the big hits, right? If every single box had a Sam Darnold in here, it wouldn't be as fun to chase. All right, here we go, folks. Good luck. guys in the chat are, are, are being uh, a little more forthcoming about the previous case. I gotta be, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a diplomat. I gotta, I gotta be diplomatic about it. Also, Rich, that, that, that imagery made my, made my stomach turn. Why would anyone buy that at a gas station? An egg salad sandwich at a gas station. Has anyone purchased an egg salad sandwich at a gas station and serve and live to tell the tale? All right, first box, box number one. Good luck, folks. All right, these cards like Paul Horning, they're numbered kind of high. We will save all of those. We will sleeve and top load those before they get shipped out. And there's certified potential. Ten out of ten. Nice start. Dorrance Armstrong Jr. For the boys, John, nope, sorry, Jason. Names are right next to each other. Jason, James, J, uh, J name, James with the boys, of course. And there's Doug Baldwin. Rich is calling a shield in this side. That would be pretty nice. Could it be Jalen Samuels? No. No. But a nice patch out of 499. Freshman fabric, Jalen Samuels. For the Steelers. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Sam Roll with that one. Sam Roll Tide. Is that how you pronounce your last name, by the way? Have I been saying it wrong? You haven't corrected me, so I'm assuming I've been doing it right. <laughs> Alright, unless you're too polite. That might be true too. Might be too nice to correct me. There's Chandler Jones. And there's Alshon Jeffrey, certified gamers. 93. Oh, he was too polite to tell me. It's Rail. R O. How would how would everyone say R O E H? There's Row, like a like a fish, like a like a row, and then R. Sam Rail. Too polite, Sam. There's there there there's people that who haven't who haven't spent a fraction as much time as you here. That would correct me day one. They'd be like, hey, hey, jerk. It's not how you pronounce my last name. I'm just like, come on, man. Out of, out of 399, Bradley Chubb. All right, and the next one. Uh, oh, the Chubb goes to John H., by the way. Some of these are autographs, these gold team cards, which are cool.
All right, box one in the books. All right, so four hits per box, relics or autos. Sam Rail just rocks my rocks my world now, Sam. It'll be safe right there. All right, box two. Good luck, everybody. We got Jalen Ramsey out of 499. We got Sam Hubbard, 12 out of 25. A big thick cardstock right there. Very nice. That'll go to the Bengals. That'll be for Justin Gable. Nice one, Justin. Card is gold. Gold, I say. And there is, <laughs> I think this was Rich saying that this this name sounded like a Cuban drug lord or something like that, some South American drug lord. Kind of does. Kind of does. Marquez Valdez Scantling. On the run. Sam Darnold. Kind of does. Dan Deerdorf. We'll 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 see a we'll see a Netflix movie about him someday, Rich. At a ninety nine, Kareem Hunt, fabric of the game. <laughs> like like his cover, his cover is being a football player, but he's actually like this international kingpin. That that goes to Jerry Bennington. I'll, I'll just keep believing that. There's Cedric Wilson Jr. And poor Darius Geis. 340, 374 out of 399. John Birch. Josh Adams. Paul Horning. And there's Randy Moss, Immortals. Definitely Immortal. Are you are you saying he was You're saying he was framed and he's on the run? Marquez Valdez Scanling? On the run? He's like, I was framed, man. Now I have to live this life of life of football for the Green Bay Packers. I'm going to try to run my operation from Green Bay, Wisconsin. C. Free says, I did a few drafts today. You're already doing drafts? Um, and in one, some guy took Darius Guy's fifth overall. You couldn't believe it. Well, obviously, Steve Freeze, it was a keeper league, right? Obviously. That's the only, that's the only logical explanation. The drugs are in the cheese. He owns like a massive like cheese company. Uh, 
A best ball draft? I'm not sure what that even what that even is. The drugs are in the cheese. I imagine they somehow put the drugs in the cheese heads. You know? Like they they somehow whatever I don't know what what drug could possibly do this, but they could turn it into styrofoam compound that you melt and then it turns into the, the actual drug. And that and they and they're shipping those out by the thousands. They never know. It's in the cheese. The cheese heads. There's Mike Kosicki. This is for the Dolphins. This is for Austin. This is Austin's first break. I'm glad we're able to send you at least one thing. There's Terrell Edmonds out of 499. No, I've I've never tried best ball. One draft, no trades, no setting your lineup, and just takes the overall best score every week. Hmm, I'll have to look into that. There's Josh Allen out of 399. That goes to Jarrett K. Last spot Mojo. Drew Brees. That's the 25. Those are a little bit lower numbers. We'll sleeve that up right away. That goes to the Saints. John H. with the Saints. There are points in this. Winner take all on the points, if there's any more. Ronnie Harrison to 499. Oh. So I'm, I might miss some of these folks, but our, our shipping team has a pretty sharp eye. They'll be able to catch all that. Colton Miller, Raiders' first-round pick. I'm mixing all these guys up. I don't need to send you kid reporter cards. Bradley Chubb out of 149, freshman fabric. Has Bradley Chubb played, Steve? This goes to John H. and the Broncos. Nice one. If so, how's he looking? Hopefully not good as a Raiders fan. Hopefully he's been looking sorry. <laughs> so 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 this guy's knees will be protected. And his the the traverse in his back. At a two twenty five Derek Carr. He looked alright. Derek Carr. In a little bit of action. Oh, is he playing tonight? I'm sure he looks like a bust, right? <laughs> There's Drew Brees again to 499. Garoppolo. He's probably doing fine. He's probably probably. Yeah, missed two tackles. He's a bu he's a bust. I don't think he's gonna. I don't think he's gonna be a bust. He. I hope he turns out to be a bust. As a Raiders fan, but as a fan of the hobby. You know, I don't want him to be a bust. But as a Raiders fan, definitely want him to be a bust. But I actually don't think he'll be a bust. What channel is that? is that? Why am I watching MLS? Why am I watching Major League Soccer? Why am I watching the Galaxy? Although they're my team. Why am I watching the Galaxy play Sporting KC when there's the National Football League on? Found it, Kevin. Thank you. I mean, unbelievable. How's Marquette King looking? Uh, 
All right, there's Donnie Shell. There's Leonard Fournette to 50. John Lynch Immortals. And Mike Kosicki, rookie roll call out of 25. So some ink coming your way, Austin Roberts. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Not illegal. A very legal broadcast right here on NFL Network. Barry. And Mike White, freshman fabric out of four. That's a nice pass for out of four ninety nine. James and the Cowboys. Jared Goff. Rams looked a little awkward. And CJ Anderson, certified gamers. 245 out of 299. John and the Broncos. Or the Donkeys, as we call them out here. Haha. -ha. <laughs> game used? Game used. Nice. Ah, and there's my boy Derek Carr. 43 out of 499. 499 of those. And Nick Chubb from Bradley to Nick. 119 out of 299. Wait, what do you guys call us? What do you what do what do the Broncos fans call Raiders fans? Or the Raiders? Like butt pirates or something like that? Lame. Thugs? Okay. Original. <laughs> what do you call us? What do we call the Chiefs? I, I don't hate the Chiefs as much as I hate the Broncos. Oh, it's like Chefs, maybe? Do we call it Chiefs the Chefs? Oh, you guys just call us gross? <laughs> do, the, do the Chargers have some sort of, like, pejorative name that we use? I don't know if they... I don't know if... I don't know if they do. All right. First third of the case is done. Second third of the case. No talent. The Raiders have some talent. Come on. Come on. Huh. Are the Chargers just lo losers? Or the Raiders? It's going to be a weird season for the Raiders. I think the Chargers, AFC West fans, I think the Chargers might actually look really good this season. The, for the Chiefs, it all really comes down to Mahomes. And if Mahomes can chuck the ball around pretty well, Andy Reid is a pretty good coach too, believe it or not. All right, we got Auden Tate to 225. We've got Quentin Nelson to 999. And another Dolphin. That's a great patch in auto. 164 at 349. Mike Gasicki, freshman fabric for Austin Roberts and the Dolphins. New guy mojo. There's Ben Roethlisberger. Ronald Jones, the second for the Buccaneers out of 299. Wait, take what back, Rich? Yeah, I mean, I, the Broncos definitely underachieved last season. I'm, I'm not super confident in Case Keenum. I really thought they were going to go for Something, some, something different. A different option at QB. I don't know. I don't know who, but, but I don't know. But if he turns out to be Case Keenum, 
They're certified gamers, 46 out of 50. Josh Gordon, the reason why the Browns are going to go 8-8. Eight and eight. Reed being a good coach? He is. How many games did the Chiefs win last year? 11 or 12? That's pretty good. How many games did they win before that? 9 or 10? That's pretty good. And we've got Antonio Brown to 25. And Randy White. Jarek McKinnon, Baker Mayfield, and, wow, oh! his ears were burning. He heard me talking about him. 10 out of 15 mirror signatures, Patrick Mahomes. This is some weird sorcery happening. This happens more often than not, where we're talking about a player, and we're just having a casual sports talk discussion. We're having great sports talk. And then the player we're talking about pops up. Doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough for me to notice and be like, that's kind of weird. Uh, my homies, Anderson O with the Kansas City Chiefs with my homies, Patrick Mahomes, the second. And there's two of them. The first Patrick Mahomes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, some, of, some of you remember, remember him as a baseball player, Patrick Mahomes. Oh, you were in PA during the Reed McNabb era. He's he's learned he's learned a lot since then. I don't know. Nick and I were discussing this. I think we're taking the over on the uh, on the Chiefs' win total. Eight and a half. For you Broncos fans out there, Denver win total, seven. I could see over. If that went down to six and a half, I'd like that. It might have. I'm, I'm, using, I'm still using old numbers, I think. It might have moved by now. That went down to six and a half. I take the over. Chiefs at eight and a half. I think that's going to go over. I think they're going to win like nine or ten games. Chargers. Chargers nine feels a little high just because I feel like the Chargers will be they'll be like some weird injury. Like Keenan Allen will get some sort of random injury. Like his spleen exploded one year. Remember that? It wasn't like it was like an ACL or anything. It was just weird injuries. Michael Gallup, 22 out of 25. Right, it'll be something random. Like like Philip Rivers will get a broken finger or something like in week three. And they'll and they'll screw you over. Dalton Schultz. Out of 225. Dante Jackson. And there's another Michael Gallup. James, starting your Michael Gallup PC. There you go. He's a Cowboys guy, so I'm sure he's happy to get all these. And there's Lamar Jackson. 275 out of 399 for the Purple Birds. That'll be for Rich. Oh, there we go, Anderson. Yeah. So we're set with the Mahomes. Just play the Brady Auto. We're good. There's Colton Miller out of five. Two out of five. Well, my Raiders win total is eight. Even as a Raiders fan, 
I mean, yeah, they, they could get lucky, but big coaching change, big offensive, defensive scheme changes all over the place. It's going to be a bit of a transitional year. But Mike Bobby, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. It's kind of a weird choice at first, in the first round, too. <laughs> but come on, Colton Miller. Be the rock on that offensive line. Randall Cobb. And Jordy Nelson looked good. Game. Happy about that. And Calais Campbell. Certified gamers. 141 out of 299. <laughs> yeah, Gruden, this is true. Gruden is a witch, and anything can happen. There could be some some sort of sorcery. Or you might just hold everyone hostage and just be like, you're going to win this football game, I tell you. Earl Thomas to 499. It was good seeing him on the sideline, though, as, as as a Raiders fan. Good seeing him in that in that visor cap thing he has going on there. Jaguar Stephen K with the Jags on that certified gamer. Kevin, you're going over on the Raiders? Eight games? I feel like they're going to win like seven. <laughs> They're going to be like six or seven. It's going to be one of those frustrating seasons for me. And I, and I realize going into it, it's going to be a transitional year. But it's going to be something where it's going to be something where they're going to win games that they shouldn't win. <laughs> you know. And they'll lose games that they should be winning. Or losing games they should be winning. Winning games they shouldn't be winning. It'll be something weird like that. I can't wait for the, the Vegas move, though. I can't wait for the Vegas move. They'll actually, they'll actually be an hour or so closer to me now. Once they move to Vegas. I don't mind going to Vegas. Losing Crab, I would would rather have not lost Michael Crabtree, but this guy getting this guy helps. It's kind of the. Uh, I I would kind of say it's. I would kind of say it's sort of a lateral move, right? I kind of like. Um, I mean, I like Jordy Nelson a little bit better, but statistically. I don't think I, I think I don't think they've lost a lot as much as we may think. All right, there's a new generation relic, Anthony Miller. That'll go to Joe and the Bears. And there's Saquon Barkley. Wow. Two, I'll give it two. There's a little blue poking out there. 144 out of 175. Freshman fabric, Saquon Barkley, New York football giants, Rick T. I think we have not seen a Saquon Barkley since maybe our first break of this. Or maybe this is our first. I, don't, I honestly don't remember. But <laughs> nice Barkley. Finally. Deshaun Watson. It'll be good to see him back in action. And Neam Hines for the Colts. That'll be for David Duffy. Oh yeah, yeah, Kevin, you're you're up there, right? You're 15 minutes to the to the heart of Raider Nation. Lynch is back to prime. Marshawn Lynch looked pretty good too. If it wasn't for that penalty, he would have tore off a really nice run. And I think there's enough depth in the running back department for the Raiders to kind of balance out that attack. It's really the defense that is the big issue. 
I feel like the offense can do can do more than enough. That defense has been a bit of an issue. And we've got nice 22 out of 25 gold Rashawn Evans. Nice one for the Titans. Mark Newland. That card is gold. All right, there you go. Next box. Speaking of Saquon Barkley, New York Football Giants win total six and a half. Over? I feel like that's over, right? You think that Kevin thinks that Lions spot on? Eli sucks. Are you Hall of Famer Eli Manning sucks? I feel like I could produce in that offense. I feel like I could stand up there. I can hand off to Saquon Barkley. I could. I could. I can throw. I can throw to uh, Evan Ingram, Odell Beckham Jr. all day long. A healthy Odell Beckham Jr. There's Immortals, Jonathan Ogden. For the Cowboys, Barry Switzer, 99. Immortals, out of 10, Randall McDaniel. Nice slow number on that one for the Vikings. Tyler on the board. And there's Quincy Wilson out of 60. Yep, exactly. Two Super Bowls and two Super Bowl MVPs getting in the Hall of Fame. How many Super Bowls does Marino have? There's Quincy Wilson for the Colts. David Duffy. And we've got out of 50. Mike White for James and the Cowboys. Johnny's saying, as a Redskins fan, I'm sure I'll be sick of seeing Saquon Barkley by the end of the year. Out of three ninety nine, I actually have no, I have no problem with Dan Marino. <laughs> I'm just saying Eli Manning's a Hall of Famer. And I got in a, I actually got in an argument with Nick Jaspi about that maybe a year or so ago. I think he was like, he's like, he's like Eli Manning, a Hall of Famer, and I was like, what? Eli Manning is not a Hall of Famer. What are you talking? There he is, right? See, we're just talking about it. I was like, this dude's not a Hall of Famer. What are you talking about? And he was just like, think about it. You know, look at the quarterbacks with Super Bowls. You got like one or you got two Super Bowl wins. Like, boom, you're you're in the <laughs> you're in the Hall of Fame. And I was like, no way. He's like, look, there, there are guys with I forget who he mentioned, but there's there are guys with lesser stats that have Super Bowls. That are in the Hall of Fame. So he's a Hall, he's a Hall of Famer. All right. So another one for the Cowboys. And we are in the final third of the case, ladies and gentlemen. We've got another pick your team in the store right now. I'm not sure. Could we get to another one tonight? Maybe. 
I don't know. I guess it really just depends on what direction everybody wants to go in. We're only down to 27 on the next Pick Your Team Certified. We got Topps Chrome Baseball only at 7. Certified Random only at 21. What's everyone buying? We've got Flawless still holding at 19. Not sure what everybody's buying right now. Optic Baseball is only at about 28. I'm sure we'll do something. Oh, Soccer? I mean, no, Soccer still at 24. I got 15 orders in here, though. All right, we'll see. We're only four boxes away from completing the break, and then we'll uh, and then we'll check the orders, and then we'll see how we're going to fill up the rest of the night. Really, by the time this break is over, folks, this will be another 10 or 15, 15 maybe 20 minutes or so, and maybe a few more minutes after that to set up the next go through the orders and blah, blah, blah. We don't have very much time left. Here, let me drop... I think I got the schedule in here. Let me drop the schedule really quick. So we don't have very much time left before we do the promo and whatnot. So we got we to gotta figure things out. Because around 9.15ish, maybe a little bit later than that, if we want to do something like Donner's Optic Baseball or another certified football or a Topps Chrome Baseball, we got to get that done by... We gotta get that filled up by at least 9.30 Pacific. Which is only an hour. If not, those longer hour-long breaks will most likely be pushed to next week. Well, they will be pushed next week. Oh, I need to talk about Leonard Fournette. What does everyone think about Leonard Fournette this year? Which so last year's running back class, rookie running back class, was pretty exciting, right? There's Tanner Lee, no relation. And there's Xavier Rhodes, nice uh, mirror signatures autograph out of 15. So which running back has like the sophomore slump? Which one continues their progress? Kareem Hunt was a big name. Dalvin Cook's coming back from injury, but he, he might look pretty good too. He seems to be running at full speed, right? And the other guy is Leonard Fournette. There's Joe Mixon in the mix as well. And there's Doris Fountain, 249. So which one comes back and continues to perform? Leonard Fournette looked great too. So who keeps it up and who doesn't? Or do they all keep it up? Are they, are they all that good? Looking for this guy too. There's A.J. Green. There he is, Leonard Fournette. Carry on my wayward son, Johnson, out of 399 for the Lions. Matthew with that one. Bodner. 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 Matthew B. And downtown Antonio Brown, clutch performers, 39 out of 99. Robert thinks Hunt will regress. Because uh, you think Mahomes will be, will be throwing. And out of 225, there's Chad Thomas. Who do you think will progress? All right, that Antonio Brown goes to Sam Rail. Nailed it. And the Steelers. All right, three more boxes to go. 12 more hits to go. Good luck. Mix into progress. I'm kind of curious as to see what the uh, what the Bengals are going to look like. I feel like the I feel like the Bengals have all this talent, but at least on paper, I mean, you got Andy Dalton's a decent quarterback, and you know there's definitely AJ Green out there, and a, and a potentially dynamic running back in Joe Mixon who Robert Ward believes will be better. 
Just gotta put it all together, I guess. And Marvin Lewis clearly has blackmail on the on the owners. Some sort of incriminating evidence. He's never getting fired. He's like tenured there. Speaking of the Bengals, Mark Walton at a two ninety nine. Oh, I forgot about Christian McCaffrey. Yeah. I, f I feel like they're going to run a lot of the offense through McCaffrey. Pretty dynamic playmaker. Rely on him. Can't just be Cam Newton all the time out there. Out of 499, Delaney Walker. Juju Smith Schuster for Sam. Out of 199. Yes, more certified. Nice Juju Smith Schuster. That's a good that's a good wide receiving core, right? Juju Smith Schuster, Antonio Brown. Charlie Joyner, Immortals to 99. There's Case Keenum to 99. How will Case do? Donnie Shell Immortals and another Steeler coming up, Sam. That's that's an autograph, TJ Watt. 15 out of 40 mirror signatures TJ Watt for Sam Rail. Throwing top loaders around. You think CJ Anderson will be the starting running back for the Panthers? Robert Rohr emphatically saying that. It's in all caps. And then what happens to Christian McCaffrey? There's DJ Left Shark, two color patch and autograph out of four ninety nine. I don't think I don't think CJ Anderson's gonna be unseating unseating uh Christian McCaffrey. Alright. Not the Leonard Fournette that you were looking for, Stephen K, but a DJ Left Shark. So that kinda worked. We started talking about Leonard Fournette, kinda worked. Kareem Hunt to four ninety nine. And two more boxes to go. Jared in MN in Minnesota saying Vike should have kept Keenum. Sad to see him go. I think I think I have a. I think I have an ir irrational. An irrational like for uh, for Kirk Cousins. I feel like he's a much better choice for Seattle, uh, for Seattle, for Minnesota. It'll be interesting to see how Case Keenum does in Denver. He's got a lot to prove, right? Minnesota's, uh, Minnesota Vikings win total is 10. I think that's a pretty good number, 10. I wish it was nine and a half so I could take the over. I think 10 is a pretty good number, though. I'm, I'm probably just pass on that, but. Leighton Vanderesh? Gridiron signature is nice. 63 out of 75 for the boys. James with the Dallas Cowboys. Nice break for the boys. Melvin Gordon. Royce Freeman, 68 out of 399, freshman fabric. John H. and the Broncos, Lapo Joe Mojo. Got the Bradley Chubb earlier, too, right? Nice. We got Clay Matthews, fabric of the game, to 99 for the Packers, Jerry Bennington.
Robert's saying you think the Rams will win the NFC, the whole thing. That'll be interesting, too. There's Saquon Barkley. And the Rams look not so sharp in the preseason. You know, it is just the preseason, but it's raised a couple eyebrows. They definitely won the offseason. Still have the whole Aaron Donald thing hanging over their head. I'm sure he'll I'm sure they'll end up getting him to sign. But I don't know, like I don't know. How often does How often does a team win win free agency and then all those players just click and everything just works? Maybe it happens more often than I think. I honestly don't know. All right, last box coming up, folks. Good luck. Yeah, even without Aaron Donald, that defensive front is pretty nasty. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't want to be in the NFC West facing that front. Oh, they'll probably get Aaron Donald's deal done before he actually misses actual regular season games. But yeah, I don't want to see that twice a twice a season for however long. Last box, got Charles Haley, Greg Olson. Did I hear Chad Beebe? Is that Don Beebe's kid? There's LeGarrette Blunt. Autograph, 2 out of 25. This is Lions edition, LeGarrette Blunt. That'll be Matthew. There you go, Matt. Nice one for the Lions. And we've got a redemption on the bottom. Ryan Tannehill. Any guesses on this redemption? Denzel Ward, 499. We got Mason Rudolph, new generation relic out of 399. Another one for Sam Rail. And the Steelers. Kareem Hunt. That would make Anderson very happy. Can you imagine you got Patrick Mahomes and Kareem Hunt in this break? There's Dangerous, Russell Wilson. Out of 399. No, you're just excited, Robert. It's all good. You don't have to apologize for the caps. Michael House in the house. Also guessing uh, Kareem Hunt. Dangerous goes to Louie and the Seahawks. A little something for you, sir. Thank you for getting in the break. And Alex Smith, Alex Smith reveals this guy, Quentin Nelson. Kevin Lesser Brady patch auto. That would that would certainly make Anderson, I think, very happy as well. He has a Patriots too. Rashad Penny, that would certainly make that would certainly make uh, Louis happy. I haven't even looked at it. Last hit of the break is Hayden Hurst, freshman fabric mirror red signatures for Rich and the Ravens. Quoth the Raven, nevermore. give away some points let's go to the list let's get random.org fired up let's grab some dice let's grab a blank list go back to the list let's go from rick down to john let's get all the names in there and 
Three and a one, four times for the list. Name on top gets the points. One, two, three, and a one. Four times. Mark, there you go. A little extra something coming your way. And there you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Uh, we've got the next certified picker team will be from a fresh master case. So check that out on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll break with you next time.